Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Cobra, welcome to Series where I teach you how to build a Discord up by music bot for your server. Today we're going to be installing all the programs we need to install, doing all the pip installs, and setting lava link up. So, the first thing we need to do is come to our internet browser, I'm using Firefox, and we need to download Python, because you can't build a Python program without Python. Uh, the latest version at time of recording is 3.8.5, this will download a 32-bit version of it though, so if you want a 64-bit version, or for some reason you want a different version, then go to one of these links, you have all these for your operating system here. And you can choose one of the ones here, so 3.8.5, we can come to download Windows X8664 Executable Installer, and that will get the 64-bit version of Python. Or if you're feeling adventurous, you can get uh, the release candidate version of Python 3.9. However, when you're watching this, obviously uh, 3.9 won't be out. I would just recommend getting the latest version of Python, whatever it is. Next thing we're going to need is an IDE. I didn't talk about this during my main Discord.py series, but um, I wanted to show which one we're using this time. And this time we're actually using a different IDE. I used Sublime back then, I'm now using Visual Studio Code. I think it's better for this sort of thing. I do use Sublime still. I use it a lot. But I just like to, to code these sort of things in Visual Studio Code. If you hit this arrow, you can get 64-bit uh, versions of of things. But yeah, this is just the Windows, Mac OS, Linux, stuff like that. You can use whatever IDE you want. Just note, if you use PyCharm, you have to deal with virtual environments. If you don't know what virtual environments are, don't use PyCharm. Third thing we're going to need is OpenJDK, specifically version 13.0.2. Version 14 point anything really won't actually work with LavaLink, and apparently version 15 won't won't work either. So we need 13.0.2. Uh, We're going to download the zip, and I actually do need to download this. We're going to save it. You can uh, realistically save it any way you want, but I'm just going to be saving it. Oops, that's not right too. I'm just going to be saving it with the actual bot because it does just make sense, I guess. So I'm going to be saving it here, and we're going to wait for it to install because um, we actually need to extract this folder before we do anything else so I'll be back when my internet has decided to catch up. Okay now the world's fastest internet connection has decided to to download OpenJDK we can come into the folder it downloaded into which is this one and we need to extract our um, uh, well, we need to extract the contents basically so I'm just putting it here this is the the repository for the bot as you can see we've got the git ignore the license and the readme etc uh, after it's extracted we can actually just delete this and then we can have a look in here to see we've got JDK bin and all this stuff. Uh, this bin folder is going to be very important to so keep it in mind. In fact, the next thing we're going to download actually needs to go in the bin folder. Uh, so the next thing we need is Lava Link. There is actually a version 1086, but I don't know if it works. There were some weird uh, problems with one of the releases for it. Um, and apparently I now have to sign back into to this, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Uh, I'm going to be using version 1079 because I know it works. You can use 1086 if that does work, that's all good. Um, but I'm just going to use 1079. And we need to log into to, to Team Study. Ha, psych, we don't, you just need to log in the guest. And we get the file. Um, and we can put this straight in our OpenJDK JDK bin folder. We just put that straight in there. We don't need any of the other, um, we don't need any of this stuff. Um, so the next thing we need to do, and the next and final thing we need to do, uh, or to download, well we don't actually need to download anything, but we do need to create a file now. So we need to create, we need to go into our into our bin folder, let's see if we can find lava link in it somewhere. Once I can remember how the alphabet works, we'll be able to find it. There it is, lava link .jar. Uh, We need to create a new, uh, a new item. I'm just going to create a text document and overwrite the uh, extension. And we're going to call this application.yml. And yes, we do want to change the file extension. And we also want to open the file. So I'm going to I open it in Sublime here. As you can see, I do still use Sublime. Hey. Um, but we need to come over to this tab here and get this application.yml.example. Um, so we just need to literally copy everything <laughs> that's in here. When everything decides to work. Come on, there we go. Um, Oh my god, it's actually just... I've been having some awful luck today with just just everything to do with computers, uh, really. So we copy that in there, and then we need to actually change the address to uh, from 0 0.0.0.0 to 127.0.0.1. So that we save that, and we can just 
close out Sublime. We don't need it anymore. So now that we have everything downloaded and installed and everything, we can do all our pip installs. So to do that, we need to open a CMD, preferably an admin. And well, my pip command looks a little bit different. So my pip command looks like this at the moment, dash m pip, oh, dash m pip. Uh, this is because I have multiple versions of Python installed on the same machine. So I actually have version 3.9.0 beta 5. I'm just not using it for this tutorial. Uh, so I actually need to specify this. Um, realistically speaking, you probably don't. You could just get away with that. Or in some instances, you can get away with pip, but it really just depends on how you install Python. Um, <clears throat> there are many different ways. Just If you're not sure, just try an error ask in the server, I suppose. And we need to install discord.py voice. Specifically, this voice stuff is necessary. If you don't do this, you won't actually get all the voice stuff. And we need to install Wavelink 2. So I've already installed these things, so it's, it's just going to say requirement already satisfied. These are the only uh, libraries that we need to install for this bot. Obviously, if you're making a more complicated bot, you might want to make uh, you might want to install more libraries. But I talk more about that in the main series about how to do other stuff. We're just focusing on the music bot with this. So now that we've done that, we can now actually start our lava link server and we will need to do this um, in every episode I'm not gonna be showing it every episode but whenever you run your bot you need to run the lava link server first uh, so what we need to do is we need to go into here we need to go up a directory and we need to get this uh, bin folder here we need to copy the path and we can do CD that I need to switch drives and now what we do is Java uh, dash jar lava link dot jar and when we load that, it should work perfectly fine. So as you can see, it's launching. Uh, as you can see, we are using version or build, sorry, 1079. Build time is all this stuff. There's all the information here you can look at should you wish to. Um, and that is how do you start a lava link server. Uh, again, you will need to make sure this is set up before you actually run the bot. Otherwise, you'll get errors. Another thing that I, I want to point out real quick because uh, the people that watch the streams will have noticed an inconsistency with the setup and that is this application .yml we didn't need to do that in the streams but I was having issues you'll see in episode 3 I was having issues with actually getting the bot to connect for some reason we didn't need this file in the setup when we were doing the streams but I do now I don't know if something's changed or anything but you may not need this YML file. I don't know. It's probably better just to have it anyway. But yeah, I'm not sure what was going on with that. I just wanted that, I just wanted to bring that to people's attention. But in theory, everything should be fine. So yeah, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, or you can join the Discord server using the link in the description. While you're down there, I would also encourage you to check out my other social links. So if you want to follow me on Twitter or Facebook, you can. The, all the links are down there for that. But yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. If you liked it, say hello below. If you really liked it, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And if you really, really liked it, then consider supporting me on Patreon. It'd be a really cool thing if you do, but of course, you don't have to. With that in mind, I would like to thank my super patrons, uh, Darky and Jackster. And I will see you next time where we start making the bot and actually getting it to run. So I'll see you for that.